Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our customer service show. My name is Henrietta Cadman. With me today is Mary Jane and Diawe. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Welcome back to the show, Mary Jane. Yes, it's been a long time I've been here, but it's good to be back. All right. So today we're going to be talking about our alternative channels. There's a means and ways to which customers can carry out their transactions without having to visit the branches. So very prominent ways of doing business with us without having to walk into our branches. Mary Jane, do you want to start us off with some of these alternative channels that customers can use to transact Okay, now let's start with one of the most common ones that has gained a lot of acceptance, and that's uh, automated teller machines, ATMs, as is commonly known. Now, in addition to withdrawing cash or effecting transfers, you can also do bills payments on ATMs. Customers can also, or prospective customers can also open accounts on our ATMs. Now, in addition, you can also spool your Western Union transactions. So let's say you're interested in or you're picking up you have transactions to pick up via western union you can do those retrieval retrieval of funds on our atms so that's one of some of some services that are currently offered on atms and not forgetting of course the personal information update system right. now what this means is that customers who have recently switched mobile numbers or telco services can update their new mobile numbers on the atms without necessarily having to visit the banking hall Excellent. And now, you know, when Jane, talking about Western Union, I recall that a few months ago, there was a customer who asked us online during one of the live shows about Western Union and how they could process Western Union without walking to, into our branches. So just to let you all know that we actually listen to your comments and we listen to what you say and we go back to implement. So when Jane was just telling us about processing Western Union on our, at, on, on our ATMs, so you don't need to walk into a branch, you know, and feel the the Sleeps phone and, and have that coach, weight and cues, you know, exactly you know. so you can walk to any of our atms and process your western union transaction how convenient is that region very convenient so you walk in slotting your card and then move on follow the prompts yes get the money out all right let's move back move back to our mobile banking service i know that a lot of our customers have smartphones and then they like to um, use their phones on the go to transact so tell us about the new features on our mobile service. Is there anything you want customers to know they can use while you know on the go? Now with mobile banking, what we exactly you, you talked about listening and taking customer feedback. So we listened to a few of the concerns customers had expressed on mobile banking and did a, a lot of bug fixes actually on mobile banking app and as well as upgrading the features. So on mobile banking, you can conveniently search for your billers. Now, when I mean billers, I'm talking about services that are rendered by you know um service providers essentially so if you want to make bill payments to for instance let's pick um, a cable tv network so all you do is search without necessarily have to scroll down now if you're making effective transfers to intended beneficiaries you can search for safe beneficiaries using their names search, search for banks as well without necessarily typing now we added a new feature that did seem to you know, confuse customers a bit, you know, with the new, the option where you have to open, like where you can open accounts for right. customers while effecting transfers. So we did, we went a step further to clarify what that means. So instead of transferring to a new account, we are actually telling you, selling this proposition that you can open an account for a third party and credit that account in, in, instantly. So aside from all of these, you also have accounts open on mobile banking app and we're good to go with all these alternative channels. We're seeing, getting a lot of feedback from customers, you know, and who are telling us that they're really finding these fantastic. Right. So about um, opening accounts for third parties on our mobile service. Now, we got a lot of feedback from customers that this is very convenient for them because, for example, you want to pay somebody who works for you, a domestic staff, or you just employ somebody and need to open an account for the person. Usually in those days, you'd have to say to the person you need to, take a passport photograph, let us go to the bank together, we sign a form, and then the account number is given to you, and then consequently you can pay the salaries through that means. But now from your mobile phone, you can actually do that conveniently. You open an account for this domestic staff or this person that you're working with that's working for you from your phone and instantly do a transfer yes. to that account. So it's really, really convenient. And you know, we started getting a lot of feedback from customers. So um, I want us to use this service, you know, the account opening service on our mobile app, which is the alternative, the um, third-party um, account opening. 
You can also put an account for yourself, like a, another account. So some customers have a savings account and they want to open a current account, or the other around they have a current account and they want to open a savings account. So rather than walking into the branch, on the go, you can open this account, probably want to save money every month, and then you move money between accounts at the end of every month when you get your salary paid in. So we've got a lot of feedback from customers uh, regarding these new services. And then one of the, the things that we didn't talk about, which I find personally very common, is that you can easily search for. So for example, you're trying to move money to a bank. So rather than you scrolling through to, to search for the bank, you can just type the first letter, the second letter of the bank's name, and then it comes up. Or oh, the beneficiary that you have saved, probably you have up to 20 beneficiaries on your account. Can actually search with the name and then it comes up and then go ahead and do this thing. So it's been quite um, it's been very useful for us and very useful to customers. Let's move over to another service. Let's talk about scan to pay. Okay. Now scan to pay is one of the very novel things that we launched quite recently, and it means that we're able to accept payments from customers who are effecting payments to other account holders who in turn receive instant value for the, their services. Now, how does this work? The scan to pay is an app. So it's a standalone app on our platform. It's on the app, Apple Store, yes, and then the Google Play Store as well. So you select or search for Zenibank scan to pay download the app. Now, it uses the QR code or a merchant's unique ID. Right. So once you have a merchant's unique ID and you have uh, the merchant has a QR code, a barcode displayed, all you have to do is use your mobile phone, scan the merchant's QR code, and then you can make your payments. The advantage is that the merchant receives payment immediately. Right. Okay, so as against maybe using a card where the merchant has one day for settlement to come in, this offers instant value. And that's why we see that it's gaining a lot of traction amongst our customers. Now, in addition to our customers effecting payments, what we've also gone a step ahead to do is introduce a solution whereby other banks' customers who have who are using cards belonging to other banks right. can also download the app and then make payments. So if you walk into, for instance, my outfit or an outlet that a customer runs and you don't have a Zenit card, all you have to do is download the app and register as another bank's customer and you can make payments. Excellent. And of course, we're looking forward to signing such a customer on board with Zenit Bank too. All right, Major, let's take some comments before we continue speaking about scan to pay. So I see Paul Dennis is giving us some feedback about um, one of our branches in the solar area. Thank you very much, Paul. We'll get back to you on your DM and get any permission you need to give to us. We, we get it sorted out for you. Thank you very much. I have feedback from Instagram saying, um, best bank ever. Thank you very much. Great bank. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then Michael is asking, how do I use my debit card? in California, right? So AJ Michael Peter from California would like to know how we can use his debit card over there. Okay, first off, your NARA debit card is accepted all over the, the world. Your dollar card, of course, can be used globally. Now, if you have a NARA debit card or a dollar card, whatever type of card you have, first, we need to have it activated for use in your present location. So if you didn't do that before you traveled, you can send us an email or go to our website, search for travel notification. That way, we activate the card for using your specific location and within your preferred date range. So it means that we're securing you from the risk of card or account compromise. We're only going to enable transactions in a location which you have provided us with and within a travel within a set date range. Now the limit for Naira cards is $2,500. And with that I'd say you're good to go with using your card anywhere in the world. Right. All right, I think that answers your question, Michael. If you have further questions, please let us know. And remember you can reach us um, on any of our social platforms, or you can send us an email at zenijarit at zenibank.com, or you can call us on 01 278 Give us a direct message with your account number, the date of the transaction, and then how much so that we can get the refund back to you. I see a number of people writing on Facebook. Please give us that information, but make sure you don't post it on the general page, send it to us privately your account number, the date of the transaction, and then the amount. I'll be happy to get back to you with the refund. Okay. Olawale says, hello, Zenit Bank. Hi, Olawale. And then I say, good afternoon. 
Okay, they need to say hello to their friends or say hello to us. All right. So let's let's continue. We're talking about the scan to pay app, and we're saying how um how convenient it was, especially for our merchants, because they have instant value when you use the scan to pay. And then for our customers as well, you know, a lot of times most customers don't like crowds, crowded areas. So when they walk into a shop or walk into a restaurant and you see a queue at the till. The tendency is to, is to just um, walk, away. walk away and say, I'll come back later. In fact, it happens to me a lot. So, but the, the good thing about the scan to pay is that you ha it's a fast track. So, if you walk into a, a supermarket or you walk into a restaurant and there's a queue, you, all you need to do is walk up to the barcode and scan and scan the barcode and pay. So, it's, 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 it helps you. It's more convenient. It saves you time so that you can get out of the restaurant or out of the shopping mall faster. It also gives the merchants same day instant value you yes. know which is really really a plus you know because if you're going to use your card on a pos the merchant will have value the next day yes. but in this case they have same day value so it's 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 a good um, step in the right direction so download the app today go to the apple store or the google play store download the scan to pay app and then start scanning and start paying instantly so i, I imagine that someone is thinking that how, how do i know that a merchant is participating now, what would typically happen is you would see that the merchant has the master pass logo display or the M Visa logo display. Now, it just means that we accept both MasterCards and Visa debit cards for scan to pay transactions. So even if the merchant, the merchant doesn't have a barcode, watch out for the merchant's unique ID because those are the two criteria that would enable you to make the payment with your scan to pay app. All right, um, I see some questions regarding account opening coming from Instagram. How do I open an account, a current account? Now, there are several ways to open an account. You can actually open an account online on any of our, on Facebook. You can also go to our website, zenitbank.com, and click on the bank accounts tab. You'll see a number of um, types of accounts, savings, current, corporate, whatever it is you want. So click on it and fill the form. And if you have your BVN, voila, that makes it even easier. Yes. Include your BVN and then you or submit it with a documentation, an account number generated for you immediately, mm -hmm. and it comes to you as a text message. You also get an email address, well, an email that welcome you to the name. Now, remember, if you open with your account number, the account is active. So you can, start, if you open with your BBN, I beg your pardon, your account is active, and then you can start running your account instantly. If you do not have your BBN at the time, you can open it. It's uh, not active at the time, but you need to walk into a brand to upgrade it or get, put in your BBN so that you can, you can get it active. So online, zenitbank.com. Mm -hmm. You can also dial our short code, yes. our magic number. This is 966 hash. So that's 966.0 hash to open an account. Or you can actually um, walk into any other branches nationwide and open an account. Mm -hmm. So quite a number of um, ways in which you can open an account with Zenit Bank. And of course, if you want to open an account for a third party, from our mobile app, you can also open an account. Again, on our ATMs, you can get to any of ATMs to open an account. So quite a number of ways. And I think one, what will be really easy for you will probably be on an ATM or on your phone. On your phone, right? On your, phone. on your mobile phone. So um, somebody on Instagram was asking about account opening. So that's how to open an account, about four or five ways to get an account is Zenny Bank. And remember that it's, it's, it's immediate. You get an account number instantly, and then you can start running your account. Jimmy Doom on Instagram says, I love this. Mm -hmm. And says, you. okay, it says hello. Okay. All right, so I see somebody saying, I need a job with your bank. All right, Miriam, you can you can send us an email. Send your resume to us at zenidirect at zenibank.com or go online to our website, zenibank.com. You will see the careers tab. Click on the tab and then upload your CV or your resume, I'll be happy to get back to you. So go online or send an email to zenidirect at zenibank.com with your CV. Okay, Michael Peters is asking, do we have branches in California? Not yet, Peter, but we are coming there really soon. But the good thing about it is that you can run your account from anywhere in the entire world. As far as you have a phone or you have some kind of a device to reach us, maybe your laptop, your iPad, whatever it is. Okay, so you can you can um, you can reach us or you can run your account from anywhere. I am blessed on Instagram says, how can I apply for a token on my current account? Please visit the nearest branch and talk to customer service ladies. They'll happy to give you a form and process a token for you. Or she can also get to online. Yes, online. I mean internet banking. Zenny Bank, we're all about convenience for the customer, really. That's why 
we're at the customer's best interest, bringing right. convenient banking to the customer. Okay, um, Ralph Ike says, good insight on account opening. Thank you, thank Ralph. You. Okay, so let's go back to Facebook now. I think I've answered all the questions on Instagram. Okay, read to me, Shibaya says, hello, Zenith Bank. I have a problem of using my mobile for transaction because I'm unable to generate the new PIN. Okay, read to me. So if you have forgotten your PIN or can't remember and require a PIN reset, there are two easy ways to do this. Now, on the mobile banking app on the home page, you have the forgot details menu. And when you click on that menu, it redirects you to creating a new password and a new PIN for using the service. Now, if you don't want to go that route, you can dial the short code star 966 star 60 hash. Follow the prompts and generate or create another pin. It's easy to do and um, it works instantly. All right. So on um, Olami on Instagram says, for somebody who lives abroad and needs an account officer to help him monitor his account, is this possible? Yes, Olami, this is possible. Even though I think you don't really need someone to monitor your account, you can actually look at it yourself. So we have several um, channels, alternative channels, which you can look at your account. For example, you can use our mobile banking service. You can also use our internet banking service where you can look at your account directly from any part of the world. But of course, we have account officers who also manage account, individual accounts and corporate accounts. So if you want to speak to somebody, you want to speak to your account officer, that's fine. But you can speak to, you have the option of speaking to your account officer and also monitoring your account by yourself. So if you don't know your account officer, allow me on Instagram, send us a direct message requesting your account officer's details and we're happy to give it to you. But include your account number when you are sending the um, direct message. Remember, do not post your account number on the general page. Send it to us as a direct message and then we will um, assist you. Um, Tesso Cassie on um, Instagram says that number is not working. I assume you are referring to our telephone lines. I'll take it again, 01278-7000. And if you are referring to our short code, it's the 966 hash. You will see several prompts. So choose the prompt that you want and then follow through to making your request. All right. So Halik Mar on um, Instagram is talking about the temporary voters card. Yes, for account, account opening. opening. That's acceptable. So with your temporary voters card, you can open an account. Now, in addition, if you don't even have a valid means of identification, walk into participating branches and you can get registered for the National Identification Project. Right. Now, once you get your NIN number, you're good to go with account opening. Okay. So Alma is talking about his phone not being compliant with the app. So maybe you should tell us what kind of phone you are using so that we can assist you. Mark Gosti, I still haven't gotten a response to my question. I apologize, I didn't see your question. So I'm scrolling up really fast. So maybe you can you can repost your question so that we can assist you. So that's on Instagram. And back to Facebook. I made a check transfer yesterday and I can't see it in my account statement up to now. What does he mean by check transfer? Mm -hmm. Okay. We need more details. Can I ban us on, fa okay. on Facebook? Please give us more information about the transfer you did. You said check transfer. I'm not sure what you mean by check transfer, but um, probably you walked into a branch. Is that what you mean? You walk okay, into a branch and, and use his use check, check as an okay. instrument for transfer. Oh, is that it? Or did you go online? Was this an internet banking service or a corporate iBank service? So I'm not okay, sure what, what more channel. Details. So just so let me know what, what um, channel we use. But if it was our any of our payment online payment platforms, which would be the, our internet banking service or our corporate internet banking service, it also depends on what mode of payment you choose. So, for example, the instant transfer would be NIP and InterSwitch. And if you chose the NEFT option, that is uh, being the other bank or the other account in 24 hours. So it depends on what option you pick. But give us some more information so that we can assist you. Okay. So Elder Steve says it's a creative way of reaching your customers and always notify us when you go live. All right. Yes, we always do that. We've been advertising since last week. Uh, thank, thank you for, you for joining feedback. us. Thank you for joining us. And Lady Smart on Instagram says, can I open an account with you online? Of course. So you can do that on Facebook. You can also do that by diet, by um, going online, zenithbank.com. So www.zenithbank.com. And then hit the bank accounts tab. Choose any type of account you'd like to open. All the documentation, all, all the information you require is there. You can also include your BBM so that the account is active. You get a text message instantly and a welcome email from Zenith Bank once you submit or submit the form online. Okay, um, 
Okay, somebody's saying that they're interested in banking with us because of our services. Thank you very much. We'll be happy to have you on board. So you can you can use any of the account opening channels to open your account. Okay, Fab Chris on Instagram said, please, I do hope the corporate bank login will, won't have issues because I had issues earlier this week while logging. Maybe you should tell us the type of issues you have. Now, let me just maybe yes. let's talk about the kind of um, challenges customers may have when they're trying to log into internet banking or corporate eyes. So like, challenges that have to do with either their PIN or their token or the password. Okay, so with corporate internet banking and internet banking, one of the, we offer, of course, it's all about customer confidentiality and security. So one of the ways to log in is with a hardware token on internet banking or password on internet banking. Now we find that some customers tend to have some issues with the hardware token. Now if the customer is using an incorrect PIN or a wrong token code, it could result in the token getting locked. Now the token gets locked after three wrong tries. Now, what does the customer need to do when you get a message intimating you that your token has been locked? Contact us via any of our channels. So you either send us a tweet, come to reach us via Facebook, you know, direct message or a post. And you can also send us a message on any of our social channels, either on our live chat platform as well or an email. Now, send us your details and we'll be glad to look into that and resolve whatever issues you have with using the hardware token. Okay, so I see a lot of comments saying, nice band, keep up the good work. Thank you so thank you. much. They're scrolling up really fast, so I can't read thank all of everything. them. So thank you very much. But we see your feedback. Thank you very much. Somebody was asking a, a question about treasury bills. We did want to summarize that really fast. Okay, so treasury bills are a form of investment. Primarily, what, this, what it involves is a customer communicating his intention to participate in the treasury bills. Now the central bank auctions treasury bills every fortnightly on the primary market. And now the secondary market for those who are interested in participating in the secondary market, it's a daily session. Now with the primary market, the central bank offers these bills. The customers communicate their intention to bid because any bank, it's a millionaire. The minimum amount you can bid is a millionaire. And then the tenures are 92 days, 91 days, 182 days, and 364 days. So a customer communicates his intention, funds his account, and then we go ahead and participate in the auction on the customer's behalf. Mm -hmm. Now, what's interesting or what customers tend to find a lot more convenient as against the other means is that they get their interest up front. So you bid, if your bid is successful, you get your interest paid up front, mm -hmm. and then your the funds mature and are credited back to your account upon maturity. And also, for those of us who are asking about investments or the savings account, so you can also do a fixed deposit with any bank. So, yes. you know, and then um, you can run for whatever tenure you want. And at the end of the tenure, you are paid your interest and, of course, the principal as well. So, it's also a good means of keeping money. Sometimes customers leave money in their account, mm -hmm. and after some time, they realize that all oh, the money just disappears because they have one need or the other. But you, use, you can use a fixed deposit. Um, plan to, to save money, keep the money. You know, I have a customer who always fixes her money because she says that if she leaves in her account after some time, she gets, to spend, you know, she gets to spend it. So it's helpful when you it, you, you can have a plan where you can um, save that money, okay, get interest on the money that you're keeping with the bank. And of course, you can also monitor this from any of our e-channels. So you want to look at how much interest you have gotten so far and then also um, how much you have saved. You know when you the ten, you know when you started saving and when the tenure will expire. So you can look at that on any of our e channels. Okay, so that's another way that we can invest. Okay, so back to Facebook. Okay, so I think um, I saw Miss Kofarola asking that if she opens an account today, how long would it take her to pick up an ATM card? Mm -hmm. Now we're glad to let Miss Kofarola know that your card is picked up immediately you open an account. Right. Now, even if your card for existing account holders whose cards are expiring, they no longer need to worry about how long it would take them to get a new card. Mm -hmm. We now offer instant card issuance for both new cards and expiring cards. So walk into the nearest any bank bank you lose your card or for some reason need to do a card replacement, walk into any of our branches and pick up a card immediately. Right. And somebody says on Instagram, can one get to open operate? Okay, can one get to operate or make transactions on a phone different from this number through 966 hash? I think what he's asking is that is there any other means of um, operating my account from my phone apart from 966? So yes, you can operate your account 
on your phone from our mobile app. So download the mobile app from the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. Follow the prompts to register and you will see your accounts on your phone. Otherwise, you can go online using your phone, type www.zenibank.com, get our internet banking service. And when you go to our website, you will see your, um, you will be able to see your account. So on internet banking, on mobile banking, or the USSD, all of these three work on your phone. Now remember that internet banking also works on your desktop. So you can use it on your phone, you can use it on your, your um, handheld, any handheld device as well, so your iPad or any of your tabs, the internet banking service will also work. So you have at least three ways of accessing your account on your phone. I hope that I find that helpful. If you have any other questions, please, you can ask us. Thank you. Right. Okay, Barnabas seems to have a lot of... Okay, okay. okay it's he's, giving, he's giving yeah. information about what um, his okay, earlier question. Check transfer. Okay. okay. Okay, so we'll need a few more details which you can send to us via a private message. We don't want you exposing your account um, details on the timeline. So I can Barnabas can um, please send us a private message with your account number, you know, and then details of the transaction so we can look into it immediately. All right, can you open a business account without your business being registered? Unfortunately, no. Future Homes Prosperity Investment. So for you to open a business account, you must be registered. That's, that's what makes you a business in the first place, right? So you have to get your documents from the Corporate Affairs Commission, and then we use that to open an account for you. And it's quite easy. Um, we have a lot of lawyers online who handle this thing, so you can get that sorted out. And Brown Cat is asking, why can't I reactivate my account? Of course you can. So you can call us to reactivate your account. You can pay money to your account to reactivate it. You can visit any of our branches to reactivate it. Okay, so it's quite easy to reactivate the account. So Badmos says, I got, we got an idea. So we'll be happy to hear your idea. Please yeah. share your idea. So back to our alternative channels, AJ. We're talking about how easy it was to use our services, how customers can get into the account, run their transactions without having to walk into a bank for a whole year. So we talked about the scan to pay, just to sort of summarize. Talk about the scan to pay app where customers can download the app and the fact Amen. tracks when you get to any a restaurant or a participating mer merchant, you can jump the queue in quotes. Okay, there's a fast, <laughs> fast track payment. to make your payment. And again, what is really, really commendable about the scan to pay app is that the merchant gets instant value. value. And I know that Nigerians love to hear it. Love to hear it. <laughs> so you get instant value when you use the scan to pay app as a merchant. And for the customer, you it's a fast track for you. Remember as well that even if you don't have a Zenit Bank account, you have another bank account, you can also use this app at any participating merchant to so download the app as a non any bank um, account holder and you can also use this service so Mary Jane talk to us about summarize the other account opening menus on the ATM and our mobile banking service okay so with account opening this can be done on our ATMs you can open an account for yourself an additional account for either your word is account you can also open a savings account if you have a current account and vice versa you have a savings account with a current account now you can also open an account for a third party individual so you want to make payments to someone else and he or she is not an existing account holder you can open an account for this individual on the atm and our mobile banking app and the internet banking service as well all right. All right. I think we're running out of time. Our producer is asking us to round up. So um, I see that we still have some questions coming in. So what we'll do is that we're going to respond to you offline. So directly by chatting you back by DM or posting it on the page, depending on what it is, since we cannot take all the questions right now. So thank you very much for thank listening you. to us today. We'll be back Join very us. shortly. And remember, the person who was asking us about advertising, we advertise all the time. Anytime a live video is coming up, we let you know ahead of time what we're going to be speaking about. So if you have questions, you can actually send in your questions prior to the day of the live video so we can respond to them first before we start taking um, other customers who are speaking to us during the live show. Thank you very much for listening to us. Remember to continue using your Zenny Bank account. Dial the short code star 966 hash. That's the magic number. Anytime you're stuck, you're confused, and you know what to do, just dial that number because all our services are on that number. You can reach us at Zenny Direct. At Zenit Direct at zenitbank.com by email, or you can dial 01278 to speak to us on the phone, or of course on social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach us. So, major one last word for our customers. Thank you for choosing Zenit Bank. We're glad to serve always. Thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend ahead. Thank you. Bye bye.